Um, today I'd like to talk to you about the Flashpak launch controller. Um, it's a wireless launch controller and people are pretty excited about it. Um, it comes in two parts, so when you get it, you're going to get basically this. Um, and there's really not an instruction sheet, so I'll, I'll go over on how to use it. Uh, first of all, let me say that this is not a controller that you want to give kids. Um, the reason is it doesn't have um, a safety key. Um, the controller, the remote, um, is this little device right here. And it's got a little antenna that you can pull out. And it, you can see there's no safety key in it. You Basically, you press a button and it will launch whatever's there. So um, if you're a teacher or something like that, if you're going to use this around kids, make sure that the teacher controls it, keeps it in a pocket so that nobody can launch a rocket accidentally. Okay, So it's not approved by the NAR or the Tripoli. Um, but speak, uh, with that in mind, um, here's how to use it. Well, when you first get it, there is a battery in here. It uses an N23 size, which is a standard calculator battery. Um, and it's back here on the bottom. Um, to get at it, you can uh, remove these three little screws and the back cover pops off and you can get at the battery. Um, the battery comes with it, but we've noticed that some of the uh, controllers that we've got, the batteries are low or dead. So you will have to check your battery. Um, and you can basically do that just by uh, pushing any of the buttons and you can see that the light will come on. Now there's two buttons because you can launch two rockets at the same time. Um, and I'll go over that. Um, the base station is this one right here. Um, and it also has an antenna. Um, together they can launch a rocket probably about 500 feet apart. Um, we've tested it here at our office and we've gone to the very front of the building and the very back which is about 500 feet and it worked fine. Um, it does require a 9 volt battery which is not included and that will go in the back like this like any standard 9 volt you know how to do that people have asked me can it use a 12 volt battery and you know what I don't know and can it be modified I don't know I'm not an electrical engineer I'm an aeronautical engineer I know about aerodynamics I don't know about electrons um, you're asking the wrong person unfortunately um, and if there was a way to do it, um, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, there's a lot of electronics in here. There's circuit boards and stuff like that, which scare me. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you're going to need um, launch clips like you would for any rocket. Now, they don't come with the controller. We do sell them separately. Um, and you can see there's, there's two spots for them. You can go, like I said, you can launch two motors at the same time. Uh, basically, to install it, you just take your wire, twist the uh, leads, and just, just stick it into the slot, and then let go on that. Um, on the side by the antenna is a, a switch to turn it on. You can see I got a light here showing I got a battery in. On one side, um, you can test. So if you hook up your, your leads together, and see now it, it's showing I'm on channel two um, and if I put the wires in the other one I'd be on channel one. Um, now this is a low current controller which means that um, small igniters like the Quest Q2 G2 work just fine. Um, so when I put that in there like that you can see I do have continuity um, and if I switch over to the fire position that continuity light goes off but the fire light comes on. Uh, and at this point, I am armed for launch. And this is why you got to be very careful with the controller. And I'm on channel two, which is button B. So as soon as I push it, you will, this will pop right away. So three, two, one. Well, hold on. <laughs> Before I do that, I want you to watch this other light here in the middle. This is when this is depressed. You, that light will come on, this light here in the middle. So let's see if I can get everything in the camera view here. Three, two, one, fire. Whoa, <laughs> it goes fast. Now, people ask, um, can you also fire an Estes igniter? Now, the Estes igniters are a high current igniter, which means they take a lot of electricity. Um, the wire inside is a lot thicker. So I'm still armed here. Um, this time I'll go ahead and push it, 3, 2, 1, launch. You can see it, it does take a lot longer to fire. Now the wire is still there, and as you can see, when I push the button, 
Um, it pulses a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but basically that means, you know, the electricity, it doesn't keep the current steady. It pulses it. And so that's why it needs a lot more current. People always ask me, well, these fire composite motors. Well, here's a burnt composite motor. And uh, basically the answer is no. Um, you can hook it up to your motor all day long and it's not going to fire it. Um, this doesn't fire motors. It fires igniters. So to fire a composite motor, you need a different igniter. You need like an Aerotech uh, First Fire Junior or a Copperhead. Now this controller does not have enough current to fire that off. Um, it will do a electric match. This is an electric match. The problem with the electric matches is they are regulated by the federal government. They are considered an explosive item. So therefore to buy these, you need a low explosives user's permit. And that's why we don't sell them because we would have to check everybody's low explosives user's permit. Um, but it will fire it off. Um, the Cesaroni motors um, do come with e-matches. So if you want to use composite motors, get the Cesaroni if you want to use this controller. Otherwise, you know, get the Aerotech launch controller or the, the Pratt Hobbies Go Box controller and, or just check our website because we're getting new controllers and new products in all the time. Um, now, Estes is coming out with composite motors later this year, November of 2011. Um, and they're coming out with a new igniter called the Sonic Igniter. Um, now, basically, it's a it's the old Estes style igniter, but instead of bare wires, it'll be insulated wires. And but the tip inside is different and it has a different pyrogen on the tip. Um, but basically this should fire this off. Let's see, do I got I got a light there, so we'll go ahead and three, two, one, fire. It's taken a while. There it goes. <laughs> Whew, that's lots of smoke. Now I wouldn't do this indoors. We're doing it indoors because this is where our studio is and we've got a fire extinguisher really close by. Um, but basically this igniter will work in the new uh, composite motors. Um, so this is the one that we're going to recommend. Um, so basically that covers the flash pack. Um, and if you have any questions, come to our website. Um, my name again is Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com.